Austin, Texas, barreling along the tight byways of Austin's hill country, my driving accomplice was arriving in somewhat hot. For the most part, dots of sweat would have showed up at this point, hand pounding the get handle. On streets, for example, this one, which are scarcely an auto and a half wide, strange trust in the auto is basic. Yet, even with eyes shut, from the traveler's seat, it felt as though I was riding in an Audi, not in an item that offers its underlying foundations with the Chevrolet Malibu. This is something worth being thankful for Buick. It's uncommonly planted and stable, relatively Germanic in nature. There's no customary car accessible on these shores, which makes one wonder, did the new Regal must be a hatchback? Probably not. Buick offers a customary for entryway Regal in China. The Regal Spartback, which is worked in Russelsheim, Germany, is an European interpretation of the vehicle, in the vein of the current multiplication of four entryway roadsters from a wide range of automakers. It's much more adaptable than most adapted cars, in any case, with a wide opening that can swallow a full estimate bike with the two wheels on. Truly, we attempted it. There is another option to the hatchback, in spite of the fact that it won't please vehicle perfectionists, the Regal Torx, a wagon in everything except name. The 310 horsepower Regal GS isn't far away, either, and a luxury Regal Evner is probably going to show up. A hybridized Regal E Assist is likewise a plausibility. TSK TSK, the Regal nameplate is probably not going to return on a two entryway roadster as per a Buick representative. The nearest relationship for the Regal Sportback is the as of late left Volkswagen CC, in both shape and capacity. From the quarter points, the Regal Sportback has indications of the last age BMW 5 Series. Dead on from the front, or in your rear view reflect, there is more than a trace of the Audi Shield grille. The LED front light mark is particularly European in style, however dubiously characterized. 